let's, let's hope this works. I don't know, but it should be cool either way. I hope. Bio luminescent ocean waves. Inch, 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 inch. Just not here to do the beatbox. Inch, 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 inch. So that's the best I can do. It doesn't really sound like beatboxing. It's just noises in my mouth. So this is the best I can do. What's up, you guys? Hey, hi, hello. How are you? How is the volume? I re-fiddled with some wires. I'm hoping that it fixed whatever the issue was. I think. Anyways. How is everyone? I hope you're having the most brilliant and creative Tuesday that ever lived. I don't know why I thought I should do this today, but I decided to make this into a bio, okay. Is it bioluminescent or luminescent? I think it's luminescent. Either way, we're gonna do some glowy ocean waves. Ireland, hello, Worcestershire. It's one of my favorite um, things to put in a Bloody Mary. Denmark, so many people from across the world. Okay, okay, so hear me out. So you guys have seen bio ocean stuff. It's, it was a super big thing this year and um, I'm hoping to try to do something. Let me see if I can show you guys a picture. Where are you? Are you here? Does that look fun? Does look better there? Nope. But I've seen people attempt it and and it never looks bad, but I just kind of want to try to do it my way. I don't know if that even makes sense. Like, I want to do sort of, it's not going to focus, is it? Maybe it is. There it goes. This kind of like layered ocean looking deal with my this. Yeah? From the United States of Texas. Texas is its own state, y'all. So, thanks you guys, hello. I wish I could have the product to use. You sure can, you can get it from my shop, artistilldeath.com. That name down in the bottom right there, doink, 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 Liz Diggins, she was the most recent person to have subscribed. And when people subscribe, apparently, it pops up right there. Just so y'all know what that is. Um, Jeff is out getting things for the class that we're doing in Bradenton. P.S. We have two seats left. If you guys want to attend, get there. I'd love to have you. So this Mermaid Ocean I did the other day. Uh, I can't see any chat other than YouTube. So if you're chatting with me from Twitch or something, Facebook, hop on over to YouTube if you want me to see what you're saying. Because it's not populating, so it's better. Hi, Trisha. Photo phosphorescent tide. Ooh, you're getting big wordy. I was doing good with Bioloom. I still think I cheated on that. So, okay, so what most people are doing when they do the bio, as far as I can tell from my art detectiving, is that they mix it into the resin and then do the piece. And that's good and all. I just worry because I use these colors and I'm using so much heat that that will kind of get lost in it. So I'm going to try a different way. And it, 
I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to find out together. So my idea is to mask off areas, take a spray adhesive, adhesive this, the areas that I want the waves, sprinkle my glow mica on it, and then do a top coat of wave. I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to give it a shot. Who knows? Either it'll be amazing or we'll learn something. Yeah? Yeah. Heidi is wondering about magnetic powders and making a wormhole. You can. So to do that, you're going to need a lot of magnets or one really big one that you're going to have as your wormhole maker. If that makes sense. I did it with smaller ones. You're going to have to leave the magnet under there. So I would recommend doing it on canvas or cradle board. That way it can be around where the magnet is so it can cure with it where you want it. Does that make sense? Because if you just hit it with a magnet, it's going to relax the particles before it sets up. So make sure you have a really good magnet to do that. Okay, so let me think about what we're doing. I'm going to do a couple of waves with my BioLoom idea. And so since we're going to spray it that way, because I want it to kind of fade in my head, it's going to work amazing. So, but to do that, I'm going to need to start with the most furthest back stripe, right? Because we're going to be spraying that way. And I'm not going to be able to add the sticky to an area that I already sprayed. Am I engineering this right? Okay, so I'm going to cut this mask this off more, spray that. I'm going to move this, cut another wave, mask it, and spray that way. I think, I think that that's how we need to do this. Okay, so I'm going to have this as my furthest back line. I have an X-Acto blade. It's not the one with the light on it. Dadgummit. it. It's fine. And I'm going to cut where I want this to be. Just, I'm gonna cut just the shape of a wave, essentially. And I think this side's gonna be up further. Like that, can we think, okay. So I need to peel off that side. I'm using a brand new blade. You don't have to push very hard for it to cut. I don't want it to cut through and scratch my painting. So it's very delicate with that. Right, so now I'm going to just take some regular old sheets of paper. This is not regular old sheets of paper, this is transfer paper. I would get in a lot of trouble. Not a lot of trouble. He doesn't care, but I would care. Alright. I'm going to use actually this paper because I have it handy. Alright, I don't want to fill that up, so I'm just going to take some tape from what we just masked off. Waste not, want not. and just mask this down. Really want to take your time doing this because you don't want to mess around and let, um, like, leave a gap and then some spray adhesive get in there and then you're stuck with a straight line. This is not going to be cute. So take your time, mask off proper,
what we usually do is just pull up one side and tuck the paper just right in there. Right on in there. That way you're not wasting any more tape, y'all. I don't anticipate any of the overspray getting back here, but I don't want to take any chances, so I'm covering that just loosely. Hey guys! Sorry I'm not really looking up there, but I will. What's up, TG? So now I'm taking my Super 77 by Scotch spray adhesive. You can use any kind you like. We do this one because it has um, like a calligraphy type tip on it. So it's flat, it sprays like a platypus type stream. Let's had a breach in the matrix right there. Okay, so in my head, what I'm about to do is just spray this a little bit so that I get a harder line here and it just oversprays slightly that way. Right? Right. Okay. So now I'm going to let that just get sticky I'm sure there's a better way to do this but I already have sticky stuff down so we don't have time to think about it okay next wave let's say it's gonna go like this and cut it bad thing about this is you can't really see what your previous wave is doing. Oops. I mean I can kind of see what it is but it's not a hard line by any means. Peel this up a little bit so we can tuck our paper in there. do it again. Might do more than one more. Sorry, you guys. I will see your comments in a moment. I 
trying to remember which side is the sticky side because I don't want to make anything on this side sticky. And that, um, the spray adhesive stays pretty tacky for a little bit. So, I'm not taking my time, but I'm definitely trying to keep a good pace. Still tacky. So I'm gonna sprinkle this glow powder. That one was purple. And I'm gonna do some green or blue green. Why do you use spray adhesive? Yeah, it's easier for me to control. Um, and the other option would, I don't even know what the another option would be. Because I want to have a hard line and then a fade. So that's a lot of the reason, because I know I can get a fade. I'm just moving this around so that the adhesive can it can start to stick to the my spray here. I'm really hoping this doesn't leave a too noticeable of a, a line for during like the daytime. I'm going to put these down here. Nope, I'm just going to do this. So that I can collect my leftover powder. You don't want to waste anything. this leftover back in my package. Okay. Now I haven't even almost a little bit tested this yet. This is all brand new. Right. 
Chloe, you can't come over here, bud. Now stay over there, okay? Good boy. That is going to be too fine of a brush. When you work with loose powders like this, wear respirators. Don't don't do like me. So it did pick up and it looks like it's going to glow, but I want to add some thicker lines. I'm going to use this sticky pen. Just to give some of it a little bit of a froth, I guess. I'm doing some stippling, kind of. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to find out together. Where's mine? This. Try to put this out as soon as I put a line down so I don't forget uh, where the line is. Because this stuff is very clear. Should I add little stipples of it in places other than the wave, or what do you guys think?
guys. Thanks for tuning in, seeing what I'm up to today. I promise it'll get more exciting in just, just a moment. Stippling sound probably isn't pleasant. Making oysters. all of y'all's beginning conversation. I feel like this should look really awesome. It's just what I feel. Okay. Done with this. Let's get all the glow off and then we will start doing resin things. So I wanted them to be kind of barely noticeable. So you guys can barely see those lines, right? Or is that, am I just trying to fool myself? I think you can barely see them. Side. 
can I find? I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys can't see it. Okay. I'm going to do Jeff's trying to pick up everything for us today. Okay. So actually, because I can see this, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to post to ATD's Poor People real quick and see if you guys can see what I'm looking at. This is going to be my Bioloom Ocean. Give me your thoughts. I need your thoughts, people. Thoughts. If you want to go check it out on ATV's Poor People, just so you can see up close what I'm looking at. Just promise you'll come back, okay? Bye, TG. Okay. Okay. So that's where I'm at right now. I was gonna add a little bit more, but let's not prolong this dance any longer. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I need gloves and we're gonna mix some resin. you guys could see the glowy part I mean I guess it looks a little glowy here where I was doing stuff but yeah okay so let's mix some resin um, because of the type of ocean pour this is I'm gonna use stone coats nope just resin diamond coat I accidentally said stone coat because that's my usual go-to art resin, but how much did I make last time? 14 ounces? Let's do 12. But, um, I don't know if it's the, I know it's the heat. That's the only variable. Because of the amount of heat, this resin just does better for this type of pour. Some more of this uh, diamond coat on order. So if you guys have been waiting to get your hands on some, I should have it uh, by the time we get back from Bradenton. Which, if you haven't gotten your tickets, not tickets, your seat reserved. I don't know what you're waiting on. 
I'm still hoping to see you there. Um, even if you don't want to take the class and you want to just come pick up some materials, come on over. Agreed, Clara. I don't know, Susan. I was kind of hesitant to add color to it. I worry it'll take away from the glow and I worry that if I add color it'll just muddy the color that I already have down so I think I'm just going to do white and clear on this and do the waves like we usually do but with only clear. What do you guys think? Thank you guys for going to check out the glow video that I posted in ATD's Poor People. Thank you, Manuel, for posting the link to the Florida class. Um, if you want to just come by and get product or just to say hi, then uh, the address to where we'll be is also in that link. Does the glow take a black light? Um, this actually charges, and so it'll glow for... depending on how intense of light it's in. So if it is in sun all day, it'll probably charge the glow for five or 10 minutes after dark. You can also use a black light or UV light to make it glow. Um, some, so there's a difference. There's glow in the dark and then there's UV lights. Uh, pigments. They're, the glow in the dark will charge and the UV has to have a UV light on it for the glow to show. But both glow in the dark and UV will react to a black light or UV light. I thought about it. I have some abalone shell over here. I was thinking about adding Thank you for that reminder. Working on my Popeye arm. I guess I can go ahead and add the abalone into here. I don't want to add too much. I want a subtle sparkle. And if you add too much, it can make your resin cloudy and it'll kind of hide what you have under it. So. Just a little bit. Hey Evelyn, happy Tuesday. I would add glow to my resin here, but I don't want, I want some parts of this to not have any glow. So that's why I'm not adding it to this. eloquent with how you explain things. You know all the proper words. Verbiage. You know what I mean. You know. So our last subscriber was Liz Diggins, which is why her name's on the bottom. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, do it so that I can see if that thing changes while we're live or it, if it just happens after, you know what I mean, you know, you know. Thank you again, Evelyn, for this paper. Oh, that 
that's sad, Trisha, but I totally understand. Susan, you have a super sweet husband. Clara can word good. It's true. She can. She also can time good. I have, I've been stirring for three minutes. I feel like it's been an hour. Maybe three days. You know, this really sucks to have to mix resin, but it's part of the gig. And don't skimp on it. It's always better to overmix than undermix. I mean, ideally, you would just mix it perfectly, but if you overmix, it can set off your resin to start curing sooner than you'd like. So that's the only caveat to that. I feel like it's been three minutes. Claire even got me a cute little sand hourglass timer that I always forget to use. Like genius. Thank you, Arlene. So I'm going to put some of my resin in this little cup. And it's going to be the white, and I don't need that much. So I'm going to put some of that back on the shelf. So for this piece, I mixed up 12 ounces, and I have probably an ounce in here for my this, my white. Okay, for my white, I'm going to use my titanium from Just Resin. Most top cell whites paste will work with this technique. Um, Snow White will. Probably Artist Sue um, Snow White, if you have it, um, since she discontinued. Um, Low Res Angel White. I don't know about Color Passion's Top Cell White though. It's a little bit thinner. And I feel like sometimes I get base cells from her Top Cell White, which are fabulous. Um, Mermaid Trash. We'll do this. Although the sea foam works better than the other one. What's the other one? Lace. Do sea foam instead of lace. Even though sea foam is a little bit of a greeny bluish tinge to it, it still looks good. Eric, if this virus should ever leave and you want to come to Worcestershire, England, there's always a room for you here with us. Don't even play because we've been wanting to come to the UK and do a class for so long. So whenever the world is Out of time out I'm gonna be there yeah there's another paint brand called mermaid trash and when Karen came to visit me last she brought some for me to try out and they don't have that big of a color range I think they're based out of the US but they Their pastes are good. Clara, is this an idea that I need to do for this? Or wait for... Claire, are you telling me something for this piece or in future pieces? Like, should I wait? Thank you, Miss Wellborn. Not for this, for later. Okay. So now I'm going to, since I'm not doing different colors, just put this out. And actually, I'm going to put some of this clear. Whoops. in a cup that I can control more easily so I can figure out my sh 
shoreline over here. What is that? Get out. Okay. So that's not a cute shoreline. I'm gonna fix it a little bit. Technically, I have done this way too close to my first wave, but I wanted to hide all my Bioloom waves, so we're just going to have to risk it for the biscuit on this one. spread this around. It doesn't have to be real thick down here on the bottom part because we're about to tilt every bit of this resin towards this back edge. We just want to make sure everything's covered. Pretty sure I'm going to end up having a breach right here because I cut it a little too close. So this may end up being a three four piece. Subtle glitter looks really good. I'm picking up some of this resin as I go because I apparently didn't need as much as I made. It's not going to hurt anything for it to be on here because we are going to do such a super tilt. I just don't want to waste it and so I'm going to find something else to put it on. Assuming I worked quick enough. All right. Now we're gonna put our white down. Posters, since it's just going to be white and clear, might as well. Let's pop some bubbles with the torch. Where is my torch? I'm just checking for any floaters I may need to remove. Oh, 
So, so far so good. I'm not having any pitting or anything is it like from the uh, spray adhesive we put down. And right now I can't see any, I can't see any of my bio waves. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're gonna find out together. to kickstart my heat gun. Perfectly normal. Now we just gotta hope that everything stays even after all this heat's put on it. This is getting ridiculous. Alright. It's okay, Bubba. edge up this white line up here. Meld it in just a little bit. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to see what it looks like under a black light. Admittedly, I'm having a little bit of pitting issue, but it may not be the worst thing. I kind of thought I would have pitting issues, but I thought it would happen in the beginning rather than at the end. <laughs> you guys can't see, but I'll post it. I'm going to have to revisit this and do more. It's a little faint right now. And I'm thinking, because it's peekabooing through some of these cells, that I need to do more coverage. Because I think that looks really neat. Alright, I'm going to do, do video real quick and post it. And then put this up and then we'll use our leftover resin. Gonna have to fix these pits, so be another coat. I'm okay with that. That glows a lot for it being like a whole lot of light going on today. All right, I'm gonna post this to four people. Results is not spelled with a K, but apparently I did. But I fixed it. Alright. glowing in there in my little dust free zone okay let's see what we can do with these uh uh Bowie stay there oh boy lay down not the most glamorous of coasters I will admit Just gonna have to do something with them, right? Right. Right. Let's just drop some color in these. I'll also post the true color video to YouTube. doesn't look cute. It looks kind of like 
it's not. That's fine. Because we're going to make... Okay. It's okay, boys. Yeah. Will you come say hi to Bowie before he jumps down? Or can't. Uh huh. Will you come say hi to him before he jumps down? I think an envelope thing pretty serious. Hi, Bowie Pants. Hi. Hello. What you guys working on? Dude, I don't we know. Did. Wait, it's hot up here. Did you guys turn the heat on? It's hot. It's hot in here. It's real nice outside. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Bo Pants. Um, you could do either, Evelyn. You want to do? Someone's excited. You're home. Sounds like. I think I'm gonna do a smush on most of these. Uh, everyone says hi. Hello. Hello. the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen, but we'll let it settle. What's that? Transparent? Then why are you putting them on just burn out? Last minute decision. Just burn on. Oh, those colors look great on there, babe. I guess you didn't want to. I did. It's, it's changed. <laughs> it's changed. <laughs> yes. It's changed. We're gonna sell colors, babe. You should go take a look see at the project I did today because it's kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. Your mouse is over. Mm -hmm. Let me fix these colors so you guys can see. I'll show you guys right here. This really looks like uh Wait a Definitely could have painted these white, but we're working with just resin today. We didn't have that kind of time luxury.
What's up, everybody? How are you today? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what did you do? I did a bioluminescent. Bioluminescent. Yeah. And it was pretty cool. Just go look in the dust free zone so you can know it. I don't know if what I'm doing is going to work or not, so we're just going to find out together. Clara said, Jeff, are you there? I have a question. What? Clara said, Jeff, are you there? I have a question. He is here. What's up? Didn't work out like I wanted him to, but the piece worked out like I wanted it to. I'm happy about that one. Been dumping rain at your place. That's no good. Uh, yeah, Clara, he is here. If you have a question. Because it is chilly outside. You got to be real careful with it because it's it'll thin the paint out. Um, spraying outside, you got to be, you know, really fast with that. Um, I mean, there's graffiti artists that put their spray paint in coolers with ice just to thin it out. I I don't know why they would do that, but it's the uh, like the real fine detail graffiti artists do that but yeah it'll it it makes it drip it makes it run real fast so I don't know if it's just certain kinds of paint that they do that too but um, when I used to spray paint a lot uh, I mean I painted every day like no matter what and when it was real cold I mean it's you have to be careful because it'll just drip it'll run Evelyn says, do it. <laughs> I, I mean, you could try it if you have a tester. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, if the... Uh, the tumblers, you know, room temperature and... You're not spraying a lot. I don't see why not. Hi, Cujo. Hi. Use all the attention. Mm -hmm. And on that. Did you show him that? Horse? Horsing horse? I had an idea in my head and I just kind of pulled those the live. You can show them. What? What's that? What is that? What's that? Two, two, two. Mom, mom, mom. Two twins that look nothing alike, but they look alike. <laughs> yes, baby. I know it. I see you. I know it. Pretty sure I 
took you right before we went live. I don't know what you're so hype about right now, my little one. You're going to make me take you again, aren't you? about it for just a moment because I want to show Jeff my this. Be here. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a subject. No. You guys see how she did that? Unless they just tuned in, they saw how I did it. That's awesome. I want to do that with like. I wonder what that like. Could you see it? Like, was it? Could no. you feel it? Yes. You could see it and feel it before I added the layer. Mm. And to be honest, I tried it too. Okay. Circus, circus. I tried it two ways. So the first way I m masked off with tape and then sprayed, spray adhesive. So I get a hard edge with a fade. Mm. Um, and I did three rows. And by the time I got the third, the, last, the first row was a little bit unsticky, even though I moved super fast. Um, so next time I would add the, I was a little bit light with it too. So what I did then was go back in with sticky pin and stipple where I wanted the front edge of the wave to be. So that that's the hard line. Yeah, I just dotted Did you try it. to draw with it and then sprinkle it on? You totally do that, because it went exactly where I wanted it to go. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Just gotta wipe my hands off real quick. Sorry, I'm eating on camera. So rude of me. I'm just eating chicken and biscuits. Okay. You guys don't know what these are? This you is a good should. little snack. You want to get fancy? I don't think it's organic or vegan fish, so if that's what you eat. Don't, don't eat these. If you're a vegetarian, this, this is called chicken and biscuit. Mm. To tell one story, my friend Locke, his wife at the time, uh, they were having a barbecue, and I brought over, they were like, just bring a side or whatever you want to cook or whatever. So I went and got some Russian chicken salad from this place. What is it called? I know everybody will know. And if you're on Facebook, what is it called? It's on Lower Greenville. Now it's in downtown. Cafe Izmir. Mm. Russian chicken. <clears throat> Russian chicken salad, and I, I was like, you gotta try this, and his wife was like, oh my God, this is so good. What's in it? I said, uh, I don't know, it's just Russian chicken salad. She goes, is there chicken in it? Because I'm a vegetarian. I said, I don't think so, but it's called Russian chicken salad, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's definitely chicken in it if it's chicken salad. It just looks like, it looks, I don't know, it doesn't, 
look like there's... It's shredded chicken. It doesn't even look like shredded chicken. There's streamers of chicken in it. I give chicken to a vegetarian. Long story short. But she didn't tell me that at first. Well, that's her life choice. <laughs> Clara and everyone agrees said, I would rather see you eat than see you hungry. Mmm. True. Very true. It's kind of light. It's because of the, all that light. It's because I'm standing here. As soon as I like exit frame... So you guys, that worked. Do it at home. I want to see all of your experiments. <laughs> I want to see all of it, all the times that you try it. I think I even inspired Jeffrey to do something with it, which would be super murder. Do they have skeleton? Do a skeleton? You could. Bo's trying to play with you and it's on camera and it's too mm -hmm. Your back is in the way. 